All right, folks, gather around. It's time for a little cultural exploration with your favorite cynic, Elmer. Today, we're diving into a topic that's sure to ruffle some feathers, female drivers, or more specifically, why maybe some places in the world that don't let women drive are onto something. I know, I know, just bear with me for a minute. So let's take a look at the Middle East, shall we? There are countries where women were until recently banned from driving, and you know what? Maybe they were onto something. I mean, think about it. One less distraction on the road, right? No more soccer moms in minivans cutting you off because they're too busy refereeing a fight in the back seat. No more makeup sessions at 60 miles per hour. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Now, before you get all high and mighty about gender equality and whatnot, let's consider this. Who's really suffering here? The men? Please. I bet some of them are relieved. They don't have to pretend to enjoy those terrifying moments when their girlfriend decides it's a good time to practice parallel parking on a busy street. It's like watching a horror movie unfold in slow motion. And look, let's not pretend the ladies are super eager to drive either. I've met plenty who would gladly hand over the keys. Oh honey, can you drive? I just want to relax. Yeah, I bet you do. Meanwhile, we're out here dodging potholes and idiot drivers like it's a damn video game. So maybe, just maybe, keeping women out of the driver's seat isn't the worst idea anyone ever had. You want another perk? Traffic laws would actually be enforced. No more letting people off with a warning because they flashed a tear or two. And those insane insurance premiums? they drop faster than your grandma's bingo winnings. Because guess what? Fewer drivers mean fewer accidents. It's simple math, folks. Let's also consider the environmental benefits. Fewer cars on the road means less pollution, less traffic, and more parking spaces. Imagine going to the mall and not having to circle the lot like a vulture looking for a spot. Bliss, right? But wait, there's more. Think of the harmony at home. No more arguing over who gets to drive or who's the better driver. Men can reclaim their rightful place behind the wheel and women can focus on more important things like reminding us that we missed the turn. Again, it's a win-win. Now I know what you're thinking. Elmer, you're just a misogynistic pig. And you know what? Maybe you're right. Or maybe I'm just sick of the chaos that is modern driving. Maybe I'm just nostalgic for a time when things made a little more sense. So let's take a page out of the Middle Eastern playbook. Let's bring some of that no-nonsense approach over here. Ban women from driving, clear up the roads, lower the stress levels, and bring a little sanity back to our lives. It might sound crazy, but hey, sometimes crazy is just what we need. And if you don't like it, well, there's always public transport.